So let's see what do we have here. ACCM playing with the purple. Mr. Yo playing with the blue. What is this map that they are on? Hidden Cup 2 map pack. So they are going to be practicing for Hidden Cup. What do we have? Mr. Yo is going to be playing Mongols and ACCM is going to be playing Mayans. Quite interesting. I'm not really sure who to favor in this particular map. Mayans, they have the best water units of all the American civs. While Mongols, of course, they have the bonus of faster hunters, which means that they can make better use of land resources, land uh, food specifically, so boars, potentially deer, that kind of stuff. Although, yeah, there we go. So, there are five deer over here, two boars, that's going to be the usual stuff for a Mongol player. And for Mayans, well, cheaper archers, uh, longer lasting resources and start with one extra villager. So you, if you get the, the ship right away, then you can kind of get a, a bit ahead. But yeah, it's going to take a little bit now for the game to get interesting as both players are gonna have to go to fuel age and I'm very curious as to see what's gonna happen in this game I wouldn't say any of these sieves is particularly good in water I would probably err towards Mayans But I'm not completely sure. So we're gonna go a bit faster here as the game is starting a bit slow. And let's see, so six villagers already on ship, sending the uh, seventh one to wood already. Pushing deer, perfect. Fun fact you need eight villagers on wood to spam uh, fishing ships. I was testing this the other day. Mr. Dot, hello, welcome. Oh no, we have the Twitch chat in the record the game over there. Well, nothing we can do. Oh, thank you. So this is the best of three. After this, we're gonna go to another best of three between Back T and Licks. So that's also gonna be interesting. I wanted to go for a best of 7, best of 9, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find uh, any games in that format. Alright, there we go. Mongol player is gonna go and take the boar. Four villagers on wood, and he's gonna go straight into the dock uh, after going for the house, of course. Over here we have only one ship scouting for the pink player. Taking as well the first boar and sending the next villager straight into the dog as well. Oh, you don't like best of fives or best of sevens? Best of one is best. <laughs> well, uh, those are very common. Alright, there we go. So both players going for the dogs already. 30% for purple, 30% for blue. So Mr. Yo and ACCM are going to be pretty much with the uh, working dock at the same time but Mr. Yo is not palisading the villager oh that's not gonna be enough to deny the dock it might be good to actually get a villager though let's see 13 HP oh 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 but now the scout's gonna yeah the scout's not good for fighting versus eagle scout in dark age only in field age you can actually kill an eagle scout yeah this is not good he's gonna bring now one villager and now this eagle scout is gonna have to go away that's very very low HP let's see is he gonna try to push the deer he should right he's playing mongols yeah he's gonna run out of sheep so he's gonna need the, the deer for sure oh oh look at that being annoying my man ACCM Already full of action, and this is only Dark Age. What do we have? Five villagers on wood over here. Already queuing a couple of uh, fishing ships over here. Five, six, seven villagers on wood. 
going for the fishing ships as well. Yes. Let's see. That eagle's just gonna camp the deer and wait until the, the scout here comes and try to push. Oh, 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 not paying attention. Yes, he's actually paying attention. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna let that scout die. It's gonna be very important. It's gonna be very important. Purple's going for the walls already on land. What's the fishing ship count for both players? Two for each. 22 villagers for ACCM. Mr. Yo already halfway up to uh, fuel age. He's gonna be in a good position to start uh, harassing the fishing ships with a couple of fire galleys. Now, usually with Mongols, you go up super, super fast. In pure land maps, usually you go into scouts, but here. If you go up with such a small eco, then you're gonna have to... Yeah, there we go. So he's transitioning all the villagers to wood and gold. And he's gonna try to go full aggro on water to take control of this. There is no way he's gonna be able, uh, able to afford both land and water aggression. So that's very smart play. Quite expected as well. There we go. Now in village, scout's gonna be a little bit faster. He's gonna try to debate the eagle into fighting here versus the villager. Very good reaction time over there. Eagle is going to go down and so will the scout. So let's see, two fire galleys coming out already. He probably knows where purple is. Mayan boar lasts longer also. 15% longer lasting resources for Mayans, yes. 3% slower farming rate though. But this is not good, ACCM is going up super late, he will try to go for fast castle, so Maya is of course getting a power spike in, in castle age. That's about the right time to try and get the Mongol player, as Mongols do get a very early feudal time, they do get a, a very powerful imperial age unit, so you really need to try and get them in, in that castle age, and that's exactly what ACCM is gonna do. And that's also why he went for the walls over here. He doesn't need to go for walls in the north, of course. Land is not connected over there. And let's take a look at the scouting information at this point. ACCM already knows about the fire galleys. It was to be expected, of course. Uh, he knows it's not connected. He is just going to take those fishing ships towards the back. Probably is going to build a dock over here. And no, I was thinking the other day. How cool, how cool would it be that you could also drop land food in the, in the dock? Because you can drop fish, right? So why not also drop in other sorts, uh, other sorts of food? That could be good. Alright, there we go. So additional dock over here. Uh, already in fuel age, gonna go straight into castle, uh, castle I mean, blacksmith and market and then go up to castle age. What's the play now for the blue player? Mr. Yo aggroing this now. ACCM not doing anything at this point, so just pretty much giving this up. Now I want to see what he's gonna do with this stuff. Nothing really. I just heard arrows. Oh, there we go. 31 villagers for the purple player. 25 villagers for blue, so Mr. Yo at a slight disadvantage. But with a lot more fishing ships. 8 fishing ships versus only one. So that's most likely gonna make up for the difference in villager count. Is CM going up to Castle H now? That's gonna give Mr. Yo a little bit of time to try and catch up with villagers. He does have a little surplus of gold so if he goes for the market then he should probably go for one there we go he's going for the market right now he's gonna be able to balance his eco he's gonna be able to go up to castle age as well now very tricky very interesting fight coming up now in castle age as ACCM is gonna be in a position to start going for eagle warriors 
for crossbows. But one thing that I found quite odd is that he's not taking any stone at all, so he's not planning to go for a castle. Boom archers are not gonna be a thing in this game, apparently. Mr. Yo is gonna keep focusing this one dog. Dog's actually getting repaired faster than it's going down, so. These guys are pretty much just wasting time over here. Two range, I do believe he should be able to target the villager, repairing this. I'm not really sure why he isn't trying, I, I'm not sure, I might be wrong. Uh, but I think he does have the range to actually harass the villager over there. Now Mr. Yo on his way to Castle H as well, went for the full stone walls, wants to be sure uh, that he doesn't get harassed, he doesn't get raid raided. And at this point, with water control, he shouldn't really have a whole lot to worry about. Although he's not going for any additional units. And at this point, ACCM already has one Demolition Raft garrison here. Two Fire Galleys. He can potentially go into War Galley now, a uh, research War Galley to get the fire ships. That should allow him to get back into, into the water. The game is kind of slow right now. Uh, I see I'm sending one fire. Okay, there we go. Fire ship at this point. Three fire ships. One demolition raft. Oh, 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 very good. Very good reaction over there. ACC, I'm saving. The units, although this one is very, very weak, is gonna go and, and try to repair it. The villager, and now. Yeah, Mr. Yo is just gonna have to retreat. This is gonna find. It's gonna be a very hard time now for these units. Fishing ships! These are not Japanese fishing ships, so they might go down super fast to either fire galleys or fire ships. And that's a very large chunk of eco for Mr. Yo. 10 fishing ships versus only 3. If he doesn't get water control back, it's gonna be very hard for him. So he's going into war galley right now, trying to debate now all the, fi uh, the fire ships with the fishing ships. Make time to research war galley but now he has already lost two is on his way to listen three for sure and there we go let's see two demolition rafts a couple of fire galleys let's see oh oh demolition ships at this point versus fire ships that's a very good trade. That's a very good trade, and at this point, only three units here for ACCM versus five for Mr. Yo. One of those is super weak, so it's going to be four v two most likely. But that's a lot of water control, uh, of army control and water. I mean, five units, four, two v one over here. And all of a sudden the game's a lot more even, although ACCM does have extra villagers. He did add the second TC over here, he is going now for the third TC and for Mr. Yo, what does he have? He has a single TC, the market over there, he doesn't have any additional TC, so he's gonna have to rely on water and pretty much water only if he wants to get back into the game in terms of eco. As of right now, 10 extra villagers are in place for ACCM. And only 3 fishing ships for Mr. Yo, who had a clear water control uh, just a couple of minutes ago. So, very well played over there for ACCM. And at this rate, 12 extra villagers. Comparable water navy. Uh, I don't know, I am inclined to say that this might be game for ACCM, but I'm not sure. Game's still not over, and KD is so good for him as well, yes, you're correct. Six units over here, seven units over here, a lot of very low HP boats for sure though. 
We're gonna have to repair these. We're gonna have to go for a couple of demos. Yeah, there we go. So demolition ship over here. Uh, there are already two in place here for Mr. Yo, and he's going for any more. Not really. Only two demolition ships, and then going heavily into fire, uh, fire ships. One thing we have to keep in mind though is that the Mongol player at this point has four docks to keep production while ACCM only has two. Oh, very good shot over there, but it was not enough to actually kill the other bot, uh, the other boat, so it's going to get repaired right now. Let's take a look over here. So military count 10 and 11. One extra unit over here for Mr. Yo, that was a decent shot, but it was not the best. Now he's probably going to lose one unit over here for free almost. That's going to be one for one. And let's see, Mike was going to be very important, ACC and was not paying attention. That was a very good demolition shot. Now the military count, 11 to 6. And ACCM is going to find himself in trouble. Only two... Four more dots once again. I have to stress, cannot stress that enough. That's some good micro, and over here, there's a lot of fire ships going around. I wonder if any of these players is going to switch into galleys at any point. War galleys. Oh, that's oh, that's so wasteful. That's so wasteful. Oh, that's very very wasteful. And yeah, situation now over here is looking a lot better for Mr. Yo. 12 military units versus 27. Now, the purple player has been going into a couple of fishing ships over here. But the the count's still the same. 4 and 4 fishing ships for each player. Let's see though. 5. Now it's in just a minute ago. Game might be going in favor of ACCM, but I'm not sure anymore. Why? Now, Mr. Yo is most certainly gonna take control of water. That's almost a given. But the villager count 20 extra villagers for ACCM, and on land, he is, he is just king over here. Taking gold, taking stone, and stone is going to be very important. You do want to go for those boom archers. And if Mr. Yo keeps over investing into water, he's gonna have to make uh, to make up by going heavily into fishing ships. Otherwise, I'm not really sure if he's gonna be in a good position to actually protect himself versus the boom archers. 647. Let's see, there we go, building a castle, where? Oh, for a castle, this castle is super good, he can use this one to protect the, the shoreline over here so he can go for a couple of extra docks and try to get back into water. Now he is going to have the largest eco so he should be able to outproduce Mr. Yo if he stops booming a little bit, but Mr. Yo is... I'm not really sure if he expects th uh, if he expects this. He is taking control of the water back, but he is still lower score by quite a bit. So he's gotta realize that he is probably falling behind on land. That's why he's going to go for extra TCs at this point. So three TCs for both players, but the villager difference already 26 more villagers for ACCM. Now this castle might change the game. And let's see, some market abuse. Oh, ACCM is going to click up to Imperial H as soon as the castle goes up. He's going to go for Imperial. What is he going to do? Oh, there we go. So War Gal is now for the Mongol player. That's going to add some range. That's going to be good for harassing. So once you do get the water control, you also want to get for... Now you also want to go for a couple of range units so that you can harass the villagers from the shore. But this castle might change everything. He's going for plumes right now. He's going for extra docks very close to the castle so that he can protect this. And what is the blue player going to do? Mr. Yo also should be trying to go for a castle eventually. 
He was taking stone, but I'm not sure if he went for a castle himself or not. Castle count 1 to 0, so no, he's not building a castle just yet. But he's gonna need to go for those Mangodai. There we go, so Mr. Yo already knows about this play. Let's take a look at the... Yeah, there we go, so he already knows about the castle. He's not gonna be able to do any damage to the ducks over here because of this. Uh, I do have to wonder if ACCM is going to go for Hidden Shot. Should be trying to go for those, uh, for that tech. Well, let's see. Stone Gate in place already. Now the villager difference is down to 19 only, quote unquote only. Still quite huge. Let's take a look over here. So, oh, very unfortunate, ACCM did not scout this gold. Almost though, he did scout the stone over here, so he knows about it. Maybe when he goes this direction to try and take that uh, that stone, he's gonna find the gold. I don't know, let's see. Outpost now in place, in front. He probably knows about the back... Uh, back talk. Maybe if he... He probably didn't see it. But I'm, I'm very certain that he can expect it to be there. Anyway, Imperial Age for purple. More villagers. More military units. Although a couple of those are from archers. What is he gonna do? Going for hand card. What other tanks is he gonna go for? Alright, there we go. So Galleon. He can go for fast fire ship. Uh, Mr. Yo is gonna click up to Imperial Age himself now. But he's going to be up a lot, a lot later. Now, what's the stone count for Mr. Yo? 462. Still not enough to go for a single castle. Mongols are gonna need those mango dice. Oh! ACCM going for a four castle! He's gonna take control of this gold! Mr. Yo seems to be in trouble now. He does have water control. He should be able to start harassing villagers from the shoreline. So these villagers are probably gonna be in reach, let's see. So that's 8 range. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't think these are going to be in range. Uh, maybe maybe these ones like this. But the other the other ones for sure not. Boon archers have been noticed. Mr. Yo is still not going for that castle. And ACCM now with his own galleons, he's going to be able to harass here. So this is not going to be able to get reinforced, which means that maybe with a couple of pitards he can just pierce through. Or he can also probably go for trebuchets. He can also potentially go for um, transport ship. Let's see. Water eco is getting less and less efficient, of course, at times as time goes on because of the fishing, uh, the fishing ships having to travel longer distances. And it seems at this point that Mr. Yo has traded land for water. That's probably not what you want to do in the end. You can only get water, uh, you can only get food from water. You need land to get all the other resources. So that's very good now. Uh, Mr. Yo going for Bracer, going for Galleon. He's gonna try to get the water control back. But at this point, most likely to try and prevent ACCM from harassing his villagers from the shoreline, not so much for the resources anymore. Let me know if the volume is alright. Maybe, maybe the, the, the game volume is a little bit too high, or maybe the music is a bit too high. Let me know if everything sounds okay. Ranges in place. Chemistry coming up for both players and I want to see what the castle is going to do. This castle is not producing anything at this point. What do we have from here? Alright, perfect. Two trebuchets starting to mass a couple of boom archers so he has at this point 11 over here, going with more pin archers from this castle, so that's gonna be 12. Oh, oh! 
good stone wall over there. That's gonna force the units to go under the DC if he wants to get through now. However, these units are quite uh, fast. Yeah, it's going to be able to just walk in no problem. He needs to go now for gate. There we go. That's still not gonna protect the stone miner, so he's gonna have to walk away from that stone. But at least that's gonna prevent the units from going around and starting doing all sorts of annoying things over here. The gold miners, the farmers and whatnot. And uh, that's some good defensive ships over there. Jewish ships coming up. Another castle coming up. And ACCM is doing quite alright, so 145 population, 114 villagers, 13 villagers. Versus 107. Skirmishers are gonna be good versus the plume archers. But he's going to need something else, of course. And I do have to wonder what the siege workshop is gonna go for. So he's going to go for cat ram. Yeah, cat ram and plume archers and a couple of turrets. I'm gonna have to be dealt with with something else, not only skirmishers, of course. Rams alone uh, could probably take the whole town. There are only skirmishers defending. What's the situation like over here? Ah, that's a low range, ten range. It's gonna harass a couple of villagers. We just got to move this over here. Oh, that's the victory sound for ACCM. Defensive turret not gonna be able to do a whole lot. And still not going for for any mango dice. Interesting. Mango dice would be great to take care of the of the rams for sure. Siege bonus is very important. Over here though, it seems like the Pulm Archers are going to be able to take out the Trevishan out. Now this is a bit sloppy, he's going to go back. He's losing a lot of units though. No, oh, that's not very good. What does we have over here? Oh, some water fight. Seven Galleon. Versus a crap ton of gallon for ACCM. Mysterio is going to lose the units over here. 116 population still. One, uh, 1200 points behind. The score lead for ACCM. And going for another castle? No, that's a siege workshop. Oh no! The projectile hitting the blue archer on the head. It's not good. That's gonna leave a mark. Holy Plume Archers now. He's still going to need something against the Skirmishers. Of course, Rams are going to be enough to, to kind of tank the damage. So let's see what he does. He micros this or not. Conscription coming up for Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo is building a castle. Where though? Oh, for a castle here. He's gonna try to get back to water. Military count 52 for ACCM, 30 for Mr. Yo. And if we take a look at the water, he does have a respectable navy over here. He is not using those to harass over here though. Because ACCM cleaned those units with these boats. He's going forward now, trying to take control. Full water. But yeah, Mr. Yo is not really doing a whole lot. At this point, just trying not to die. That is a very good defense. That castle is, is in such a good position that it's gonna be super hard for ACCM to get rid of those trebuchets. So one castle down for the purple player. Still one up. Let's see over here. Water fight going in favor of ACCM. I am not completely sure about the numbers over here. 
numbers were quite similar, but Mr. Yo doesn't want to risk it. He wants to play as safe as possible. He actually has uh, the HP lead, I think. He does. He doesn't have the defense upgrade, though. Actually, my bad. Defense is actually better for Mr. Yo. Now, this should be good for him, but he needs to make use of his whole navy. He's not making use of some of the units over here. Those are six galleons that are doing nothing. What is happening here? He's trying to pay attention over here. So, four trishets. Oh, and the castle is most likely gonna go down. The Poon archers are inside, and he's sacrificing his water navy over here. Oh, there we go. So, he noticed. Now, he brought the units forward. So, now the water is going to be in favor of Mr. Yo, but he is going to lose the castle in exchange. Poon archers are going to be great to kill the villagers. And the villager count now for Mr. Yo is super low at only 92 versus 121 for ACCM. Onager is going to go down, there we go, but so are a lot of Tomb Archers. And now, one trebuchet, most likely gonna, stand, uh, gonna stay up as the trebuchets, uh, as the rounds, I mean, are going forward towards the trebuchets over here. Now, Onagers are probably gonna be enough to clear this up, however... He's gonna have to micro this a little bit better as he is not really landing the shots very well And he lost now the onager to this ram so situation here is not looking good at all for Mr. Yo He might be losing the trebuchets. He stopped moving them Only two hits and all all of them could go down three hits Very low HP this one's gonna go down for sure he trapped himself he trapped himself. There we go. One trebuchet going down. Cap ram, uh, siege ram going down as well. But Mr. Yo has lost. Yeah, Mr. Yo has lost already one castle, one to see. He's losing ground over here. He doesn't have water control anymore. As a matter of fact, he barely has. Um, yeah, he barely has any water presence. Uh, presence, I mean, other than. Galleon here. Unit count. About the same for both players. HP pool is a lot better for ACCM though, and Mysterio is gonna go for another castle in the exact same spot as the last one. What is ACCM gonna do? He doesn't have traps anymore. And now Mysterio is coming forward with two trebuchets. Population is still wildly ahead for ACCM, but oh, there we go, a crap ton of barracks with Elite Eagle Warrior on the way. Now let's see over here, let's see. This is a lot better fight for ACCM, Mr. Yo was not paying attention, he's not attacking at all. He's going to lose all of this, which means that he's going to be able to use these boats to protect the military base that he built over here. Now, archers going forward, siege rams going forward, siege rams are going to be very important to try and soak the damage from the, the galleon over here. And with this amount of units, ACCM can just afford to sit in the castle and get rid of the galleon. With very good defense here, Mr. Yo with the onagers getting rid of one siege ram over here. Uh, let's see, the eagle warriors are here. I should be able to clean this up. Oh, 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 oh! The bada boom! Oh my god! Those were great shots! Now both onagers are going to go down to eagles. All uh, four onagers, as a matter of fact, but a lot of two archers went down over there. Now the Mangudai are not fully upgraded. They do have Bracer. They do have... Um, Leather Archer armor, so they do have the bloodlines. Uh, I mean, the blacksmith upgrades. Actually, wait a moment. Chemistry? I think he might be fully upgraded. He only needs the elite upgrade. Let's see. Mr. Yo seems to be stabilizing over here going for a market let's take a look at the resources only 82 villagers though villager count super low 
but if ACCM came with a couple of petards here, broke through and came with the plume archers or the eagle warriors inside, I'm not sure if there's anything that Mr. Yo could do. Especially as he is trying to transition now a couple of uh, villagers over to the front, try and get some eco going. Right now the situation has stabilized a lot for Mr. Yo, who is also picking a relic that's going to be the third relic for him. One relic only for ACCM, potentially can have up to two. So there's the missing one, uh, he probably already took it, where is it? Anyway, Mr. Yu has been able to stabilize the situation. ACCM seems to be going into more siege. Yes, siege rounds. He's not queuing any more uh, any more units though. All right, there we go. He is going to break through the four to five walls over here. He's going to send plume archers over there. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of gold to try and queue eagle warriors. Gold situation should be good for him though as he's taking gold from here and from here with the defensive castle, that's very good. As for Mr. Yo, we can see now that he has almost no resources, he only has a lot of uh, wood, he doesn't really have a lot of food even, he doesn't have any stone, he doesn't have any gold, uh, of course no stone miners, no gold miners. Very bad situation for Mr. Yo right here. He's gonna have to take care of rams. Siege rams nonetheless. And as you see, I'm gonna go into iron casting. Mr. Yo is gonna call the GG. There we go. So, interesting game. First game of the day, first game of the first series between Mr. Yo and ACCM is going to go in favor of the purple player who took full map control not only on water but also on land. Just pushing and pushing, Mr. Yo ran out of resources. There was just not a chance for him, poor guy. So, score 1 for ACCM. Zero for Mr. Yo. We're gonna take a look at the achievements and then we're gonna jump into the second game of the series. Uh, as for breaks, we're gonna have a small break between series, but not between two games. Uh, each two games like, like we usually do. So KD fights for almost for Mr. Yo, unfortunately. He fell behind in Eco so much. And on map control, that, that it was not really important. Faster castle time, imperial time for ACCM. More villagers as well. And keep in mind that Mr. Yo's villager height with 104 was not representative of what he had most of the game. As we can see here, the villager count was actually quite bad for him. At around 80 to 90 most of the game. So yeah. Let's get into the second game now. And here we are. Second game of the best of three between ACCM and Mr. Yo. We're gonna have uh, the purple player here playing Vikings, so ACCM Vikings and Mr. Yo playing Hans in blue in the northeast. So the map, once again, they are practicing for Hidden Cup 2. So HC2 map pack. What are we gonna see over here? ACCM's Twitch chat over here. Oh no. So Vikings, of course, are going to be very good for uh, infantry and archers. Hans are going to be exceptional at cavalry and cavalry archers. So you have a couple of possible combinations here. 
Viking player most likely gonna go into uh, for, is gonna go for men at arms, potentially into archers. He is going to need some spearmen though, as he is gonna be facing scouts, fuel age most likely from the hunt player. And then in castle age we might see uh, knights, we might see cavalry archers. I do expect the hunt player to go for cavalry archers as melee knights, especially if ACCM goes for. Um, goes for a castle and for chieftains, then that's not going to be super viable for the hunt player. So cavalry archers are going to be needed. But then again, the Viking player most likely going to go for archers if that's uh, if that's the case. So let's see, four villagers now here for the Viking player. That seems to indicate men at arms. Uh, oh, 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 small skirmish, dark cage skirmish. This is pretty RNG. I do believe blue should win. Yes, there we go. Mr. Yo is gonna get now the first blood. That's gonna be 1 to 0 KD. So, infinitely better KD for the blue player at this point in the game. Is that. Uh, Good indication of what's to come. I don't think so, but yeah, whatever. We're gonna take a look now at ACCM scouting information. Now that he doesn't have a scout anymore, it's going to be very important that he at least finds out where Mr. Yo is, but he doesn't know. He doesn't. He doesn't know where Mr. Yo is. Mr. Yo knows where ACCM is though. So he's going to be able to start sending a couple of uh, militias forward and do some harassment, although he's not going for the barracks yet. They're gonna go for docks, alright. Hybrid maps, gotta love them, gonna hate them, up to you. I personally personally like them. I think it's very ent uh, entertaining to see how players balance the water control and the land. Last game of course was very very much in favor of ACCM. And it seems like Mr. Yo. What is he gonna do? Going for fish and ships, so is ACCM. So this is not going to be played as a regular land map. It's going to be played as a hybrid map. I would say probably water is important here for some eco, but I don't see a lot of fish. Um, just a couple over here and over here. In any case, fishing gets very inefficient very fast. Once the first patch is over, Mm, second patch is super far away. That's the case for both players. The pawns here, and even not not all of them get fish, so I'm not really sure. Let's see. Send the villagers to the wood. That's the case for both players. So Mr. Yo, once again, as we were expecting, he is going to have the intel advantage. With more scouting information because of getting the scout alive. Keeping the scout alive, rather. What are we gonna see over here for Mr. Yo? Going right now for the ship. Four fishing ships for the blue player, only two for ACCM. Military count zero at the moment for both players, other than the scout, of course. And mining camp coming up. Alright, so give me one moment because there is a very, very loud dog that's not gonna stop barking. I'm gonna close the door and I'll be right back. Yeah. 
โอ้โหUh, the blue player is going to get water control for sure. That is also why ACCM probably didn't go for any more than two. And two fishing ships. It's a very unfortunate. Let's see. Uh, Himas. Yeah, it's not possible to play with them. They are pro players. These are recorded games as well. And... Yes, English, please, only. Let's see. There we go, ACCM going full walls, trying to go for Castle Age right now. Most likely gonna try and transition into the longboats. They're gonna be useful as well for supporting land units, but I, I, I don't think they are super important here. I don't think water is especially important in this map. Because it doesn't even touch it, it doesn't even touch the border. So they can go over here, and there is no threat from water units whatsoever. They can go over here as well. But I don't know, I might be wrong. At this point, ACCM is going for a couple of demolition rafts. So he might be looking into getting water back. As for the resources. They're not looking particularly great for any of those, uh, any of them. 200 stone, very little gold and very little wood for ACCM. It does have a small food lead though, with 14 villagers working on food. Thirty-one villagers though, he should have the advantage in the long run with land eco well, let's see couple of archers going forward archers and spearmen were to be expected so skirmishers are in place right now for the blue player and mr yo oh 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 very good reaction over there almost at the boom he's gonna get one fish and ship at the very least but now there's only two pikemen or two spearmen and two archers here down from two spearmen and three archers because of this one going down to the skirmishers of course oh 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 let's see ah this is not saleable sand so boats cannot go to this area all right now for this amount of gold then water control might be a little bit more important than i uh, than i was expecting there is more gold though in the rest of the map, so there is some leeway for both players to kind of give up water in the early game and try to get back to it later on by trying to go up ages faster. But yeah, situation is not looking promising here for ACCM, even though he does have four extra villagers. He can only go for galleys right now. And in Castleage, keep in mind that Vikings only get up to Demolition Raft, so they don't get demolition ships, they don't get heavy demolition ships. It's very, uh, very not good. <laughs> Alright, both players going up to Castleage right now, only 4 seconds of difference. And I find it very weird that he is not walling this area uh, behind. behind the tree 
Because right now, Mr. Yo can potentially come, chop this, and try to go through. And this is open, so... I don't know. He's not doing it. Now even Gaia align with Mr. Yo and you see I'm getting a little bit wrecked over here. Let's see if he's gonna pay attention over here. Oh oh <laughs> Alright. Yeah, they should be able to clear uh, those units. You see I'm not gonna be able to get this one up though. Three, four, five skirmishers, two archers, one spearman. Yeah, probably not gonna be enough to clear this up. As you see, I'm about to lose one villager over here to skirmishers. Very unfortunate, not something you see every day. But this game is very, uh, very unusual. Not something you see really a lot. So as you see, I'm just gonna send a couple of archers forward. That's gonna be three. They're gonna get spotted here by uh, Mr. Yo's skirmisher. That's gonna be two skirmishers defending over here, which means that these archers are not gonna be able to do anything. ACCM going for War Galley, Bodkin Arrow. So that means he's gonna be uh, able to actually use these units. And is he gonna go for longboats? There we go, longboats on the way for the Viking player. This one, Doc's not going up though. This one is not going up either, which means that Mr. Yo had the time until now to go for extra Docs, and he can probably try and contest water control, uh, try to prevent ACCM from, from getting water control. But right now, we have two Docs for the purple player. Potentially three, he only needs to hammer this one like a couple of times at this point, 98% completed. And he should be good. Uh, the crossbows are not gonna do a whole lot over here though, there are a couple of defensive skirmishers. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's only able to prevent the walling, actually no, he, he wasn't even able to prevent the walling. Now this wolf's potentially gonna kill the villager, let's see. Good defense over there. Elite skirmishers now. That's good. Villager almost going down, so one HP woman, she's gonna have to go and garrison a little bit. But let's see. Longboats in place. ACCM going for more longboats over here. Not really heavily though. Not heavily into those. Just a little bit. Two longboats garrisoned over here. Uh, he had to. Okay, these are the two longboats he had garrisoned. That's one over here. Uh, Mr. Yo is going for fire ships though. If he goes for enough, um, uh, for a high enough amount of fire ships, he should be able to get water control back. And once again, that's not going to be so important uh, in terms of food income, but that's going to be very important later on, as they need to get more gold for land units. This is a lot of gold that they have in the middle of the water. Of course. This is also walkable, uh, this terrain is also walkable by land units, so we could potentially see uh, land units trying to fight boats or trying to get control of this area back. But for now, Mr. Yo doing a good uh, good job here, raiding a little bit with the elite skirmishers, even getting a, a villager here. Two villagers, there we go. ACCM apparently trying to pay attention over here, not really paying attention back at home. Oh, he's gonna bring now a couple of knights. Now, Viking knights are not good. <laughs> they don't get bloodlines, they don't get uh, husbandry, even. Hans should be able to just murder knights over here. However, going for me melee cavalry as Hans playing versus Vikings is risky as Vikings get. A unique unit gives uh, infantry units plus five attack, plus, plus five bonus attack versus cavalry, if I'm not mistaken. So, even though they don't get halberdier, pikemen are very good, very effective. Uh, Viking, Viking pikemen are very effective. 
So this is mostly what I'm expecting. I'm expecting more of uh, cavalry archers for sure to try and take care of both archers and potential infantry units. While both players are in Castle H, Mr. Yo is sticking to one to see, and so is ACCM. So very similar approach. But if you, you take a look at the score advantage that Mr. Yo has, mostly due to um, the KD, very very good KD for the blue player. Now the score difference is of 900, almost 1000 now. And there we go, so second to see coming up for the Viking player. Keep in mind the Vikings do get free wheelbarrow and hand card. So going for extra TCs is not going to be so impactful on your eco because of getting um, better farmers. There we go, so second and third to see. Cavalry archers are not going to be able to walk inside here. Uh, but this is very unfortunate. One villager might go down over here and 47 villagers versus 45, 48 at this point versus 45. It's not looking very good for ACCM, however, he might be able to start pulling ahead now as he did get both extra TCs up. While the situation for Mr. Yo is one extra TC up right now. Very messy eco. And missing the third one, so the Viking player, if left undisturbed, should be able to start pulling ahead now in villager count. At this point though, four villagers behind, and we're gonna check back again in a couple of minutes. Let's see. Longboats very dominant in water. Just no chance for Mr. Yo to get back at this point. At least not with the current strategy that he's going for. Full land units. So only three fire ships. Uh, a couple of those are low HP. Actually, all three of them are very, very weak. So that dog's gonna go down. Uh, next, potentially one archer range. Or the monastery, or even the, the siege workshop. However, Mr. Yo now with the third to see over here, reacting super super fast to ACCM's uh, TC boom. Mr. Yo was in one to see. He noticed ACCM going for two extra TCs, and he immediately added two more himself. Now, still five villagers behind. ACCM was not able to keep up with three TCs production as he, as he was going for knights. Many of those knights got converted. Uh, this is very unfortunate now. Very unfortunate position for a purple player. He's gonna try to bring now these units forward, try and support some uh, land units. However, they are not gonna have enough range. Let's see. One mango over there. Two Magnus over here for Mr. Yo, and the situation is looking quite, quite good for the blue player. Now, villager count though is getting very, very close. One knight's gonna go forward and try to get the Magnus. Magnus is not going to be repaired here fast enough. It's going to go down for sure. There we go. Villager potentially going down as well. There we go. So, both Magnus down. Both Magnus up for the blue player. Mr. Yo doing a very good job here. Sniping the Magnus from ACCM with the cavalry, with the with the knights. And going now for the TC and this TC going down is probably gonna be the, the end of the game for ACCM. The situation is not looking promising over here. Is he going down? He is trying to get... Oh, 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 oh! There we go. Good reaction over there for Mr. Yo. And the Magnel keeping him... Keeping him away. Now, ACCM... 
in a lot of trouble and Mr. Yo with enough stone to go for a castle and he could potentially go for an offensive castle and there's nothing at this point that uh, ACCM can do to prevent that. Three Magonos over here are going to be able to deal with this no problem. Both uh, the crossbows and the Magonels. And I want to take a look at the castle. Let's see. Mr. Yo has the resources. He has the four villagers. There we go. Four castle. ACCM doesn't have anything to respond against this. He really doesn't have any answer to this. Oh, that was a very, very, very good save over there. But right now it's going to be 1 for 0. Or 1 for 1, rather. And still 3 Magnus in place for Mr. Yo. So this one to see is about to go down. There we go. This one to see is about to get nigh by the castle. And by the nigh, I mean that he's not going to be able to use the space around this to go for farms. He's not going to be able to kill villagers or to try and take root from here. And ACCM is going to call the GG. And that's going to be the equalizer. Now, we're going to update the scores. That's going to be 1 to 1 for uh, Mr. Yo and ACCM. And we're going to jump straight into the third game. Now, guys, remember that after this, we have a best of three between Bacti and Lix. So this is Asian Stars play. We're going to be featuring Asian pros. All right, let's take a look at the achievements. There we go. Military stats. Very good for Mr. Yo. Larger eco as well. Even more villagers in the end, even though uh, ACCM was going for the boom faster. And he went up to Castle H faster, even though even for three seconds only though anyway very good play here from Mr. Yo systematically winning the game uh, pretty much ignoring the water just going for full land now let's take a look at the next game Alright, there we go guys, third game of the series, they're going to be playing, once again, HC2 map pack. So this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is hideout, right? Um, I believe so. Gold over here, and stone over here for Mr. Yo. Uh, gold's going to be very exposed, stone not so much, as for ACCM, gold's going to be very exposed, stone's going to be very exposed. Even though this map has potential for booming, it also has potential for early aggression, so I wouldn't rule out a tower rush or something. As a matter of fact, Judging the civilizations, uh, slaps for Mr. Yo and Berbers for ACCM. I would say the slap player is in a good position to, to try and, and be aggressive in Fuel Age. Because in Castle Age, with Berber camels and camel archers, it's going to get hard for the slap player. Farms are, of course, uh, very good. 15% faster working farmers for slabs, which is quite, quite strong. Also, uh, cheaper siege for them. It's going to be very hard to fight uh, Berbers, which are pretty much the anti cavalry sieve. After Indians, they are probably in the, in the top 3 anti cavalry sieve.
being a cavalry save themselves of course uh, they do get 15 and 20 percent cheaper cavalry units in castle age and imperial age respectively they do get uh, good camels and they do get uh, the camel archers of course camel archers not only do counter cavalry archers specifically but they are also like a stronger version of cavalry archers in general so for even for other units they are still quite good let's see over here though i believe the first hit was in favor of mr yo yes so yeah now it's easy i'm just gonna have to run away he could try and take advantage of this small hill though and potentially let's see let's see oh 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 He's not going to! He's not going to try and get the, the, uh, the scout, he's just going to walk back home. He might even take one or two hits when going back. Now this wall generation is going to give these guys a hint as for how close they are. Yeah, there we go. This wood line is super super thin. Trying to take wood from here would be pretty much suicidal as in fuel age you can just place a tower over there and deny all of this area. Yeah there we go so that's two additional hits for uh, in favor of Mr. Yo. And let's go a little bit faster to try and get up to fuel age ASAP. So 17 villagers, 1 military unit for each population. Oh, Mr. Yo paying attention here. ACCM was trying to trap the scout inside the walls, but Mr. Yo is paying attention. Well played. What's gonna happen now? The slab player is going to go for a barracks outside the walls. What's the situation for ACCM? He is gonna try to go for fast castle. At this point, 20 villagers. Mr. Yu is gonna go for Loom, so he's going to try and go for... Uh, yeah, for, for a stable, for sure. He can actually try and go for Men at Arms as well. Or is going to be the case? I would say probably it's better to go for Scouts. Uh, but you never know. Mr. Yo going up to Fuel Age. 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Pretty much perfect time, almost. And ACCM is going to try to go for fast castle, so 23 villagers pushing the deer right now, going to go up with at the very least 24, uh, I have seen that, but probably 25 to 28 is more, more standard. So there we go, militias on the way, villagers on the way, he has a scout here so he knows exactly what this looks like, and ACCM. Now because of the gate knows about the villagers and he's not going to be able to do anything against this. Fuel age is about to happen for Mr. Yo. Oh, 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 he's gonna try the tower hop. ACCM is gonna realize this and he's going to insta wall that area. So now ACCM is gonna try to start taking some stone but he's gonna be forced to go up to fuel age. Of course, 27 villagers at this point means that he is not going to be in a lot of trouble uh, he was trying to go for fast castle so this is a very standard build order for him but now this is probably going to get denied uh, the stone is most likely going to get denied this can get targeted there we go so that's already going down there we go units going in villagers building another tower potentially Resources are there, so he should be able to go for another tower. There we go. This tower is in... There we go. And that tower is also in range of the other one, so it's going to be good for him. He's going to be able to defend both towers with one another. And let's see. Market going up. He does have the resources to try and go up himself. He can sell a little bit of food. He can sell a little or a little bit of wood. Oh, 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 he's not gonna let him. He's not gonna let him wall. 
the market's not gonna go up. And now he cannot build it from this area because of the tower. He has to delete the ca the, the, the market and try to build it over here. Or potentially, I'm not really sure about this decision. Uh, it is in range of the tower, so this one is most likely gonna go down. But he's gonna have to pay attention to the villagers over there. That's one villager from ACCM going down. Two villagers from ACCM going down. Let's see. One more. One more. There we go. Scout's gonna be super weak though. Uh, the four villagers are gonna deny the gold over here. And Mr. Yo is playing a very systematic game over here. Preventing Castle Age. And that was, a, that was a good play. So taking the tower down with villagers. And he's able now to finish the market from this place. Another thing that he could have tried to do was to bring the villager over here and go for two palisade walls over here and over here to try and secure the villager. However, he is now in a very, very awkward position. He doesn't have the resources to go up anymore. He has five farms, which is barely enough to keep up uh, villager production. He's going for the sixth farm. He's gonna have to idle the, the castle each time now. Mm. Yeah, he's no longer in a position to go up to castle age, which is very unfortunate because he's super close. 669 food, 162 gold. And still... Oh, ACCM got trapped over here. The watchtower is going to go happen. He's going to lose one more villager. He had to delete this. He had to delete his well, own building. But now, let's see. ACCM is going to try to trap uh, Mr. Yo's villager over there. Mr. Yo does have some military units over here, though. He's not going to be able to go straight through as he's going to have to dive under the TC. But now, one more tower for Mr. Yo coming up. A villager lead, uh, score lead for ACCM. Two extra villagers as well, so very well over there. Mysterio is gonna go for wheel battle right now, but the food situation for ACCM is alright because he was getting uh, enough food to go up to Castle Age, but yeah, the situation is not looking particularly great. So now Mr. Yo trying to go for another tower over here. This tower did go up, he is going to try and and repair it to prevent it from going down. But yeah. Oh, oh, ACCM. ACCM blocking the units. Now the villagers are trapped and that tower is going to go up. So one to one, that's the current uh, best of three score so far. I want to see what he does. I want to see what he does. He's going to target this tower. He can potentially come here and try to go for uh, another palisade gate. However, I believe this tower should be going down faster than this one's going to go up. He's not paying attention! What is he doing over here? He's got to be doing something else because he could have walled his own villagers here. He was probably banking on his villagers being strong enough to actually take care of the Minotaur. But now he's going to lose one. He has two low HP ones. He's going to lose another one. And that very low HP Minotaur from Mr. Yo is going to get saved here by getting garrisoned. Now the situation is not, look, not looking very good for ACCM, even though he does have two extra villagers. Now he is going to fight towers. He's going to fight towers when there are other towers in range. So this is not good. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. He's going to try now to fight the villagers from Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo is going to garrison that one, but he's going to lose two villagers so far. That's going to bring now the villager advantage up to three and then back down to two. 
As ACCM loses another villager. He might even lose another one over here. So let's see. That's five. That's two. That's another one going down. Now, Mr. Yo is going to be in a position to get rid of both villagers over here, or potentially all three. But let's see. That was a very good fight from uh, ACCM. Trading villagers one for one at this point. That's another villager going down. A very messy game. He's gonna have to get the villagers away now. He's gonna try to use this one to debate the fire from the tower, but both towers should be going down. However, there's one man down now. There's another one coming in here. And that's another villager coming down. And that's 35 villagers for both players. 10 military units for ACCM. What is he doing? <laughs> He's going for the counter attack over here and I was so caught up over here with the action but he was actually going sneakily over here building archer ranges going for some raids so ACCM getting back into the game villager advantage is gone at this point 35 villagers for both players and what is uh, Mr. Yo gonna do? He's gonna go for two archer ranges himself ACCM going for the offensive tower over there, going for skirmishers, going for archers, fletching already in place, no defense upgrade yet, so no pilot archer armor. And there we go, both players going pretty much all in full feudal, and as we were expecting to see one of the players trying to go for fast castle, we see both of them getting stuck in feudal age, going full aggression. And that's another tower coming up now for Mr. Yo, uh, for ACCM and Mr. Yo. So potentially one villager going down, there we go, so that's one villager, potentially two, no. Good control over there by ACCM, saving one villager from certain death. Let's see this though. 39 villagers for Mr. Yo versus 34 for ACCM. He's doing a very good job keeping up here. And the super aggressive, hyper aggressive game from Mr. Yo seems to be paying off. Villager lead is already in place, uh, or he got it back actually after losing it. But now it's a CM with a lot of forward units. Potentially being able to do some damage over there, that's a very good house that's gonna force the units to go under the TC. And going for the house here. Oh, what? No, he tried to delete the house and he deleted the villager. It's gonna bring the villager advantage down to 5. But ACCM still can do a good bunch of damage over here with these units. Let's see though. Micro is going to be super super important over here and Mr. Yo seems to be microing a lot better now ACCM with only 10 units over here versus 11 over there for uh, Mr. Yo All of them are skirmishers as well, which is not the case for ACCM So the purple uh, the purple units are going to go down here for sure Let's see though ACCM is microing uh, Mr. Yo is not so he's going to be able to save a couple of these units and what is he going to do? So he still has four forward villagers, so he's going to go for an additional tower that's going to be good to defend this one. The situation is not looking pretty for the purple player. Eight, uh, 11, 12 extra villagers, no wait a minute, 8 extra villagers for Mr. Yo at this point. Up from 5 just a minute ago. An ACCM still has some uh, leftover food no he doesn't have any leftover food he's going for wheelbarrow right now which mr yo already had so this is not going to look great now for accm less villagers uh, later upgrades mr yo has been taking full advantage of wheelbarrow so far and let's take a look then at the eco numbers so more gold for Mr. Yo 212 almost no food though there we go going up to Castleage and I believe as the blue player hits Castleage ACCM is most likely called the GG and I believe it's quite certain that at this point, the best of three is over in favor of Mr. Yo.
Because there is no way for ACCM to counter Castle H units. And yeah, Flame versus Slabs. With Wheelbarrow. In Fuel H. Just not gonna happen. Much less so with only Skirmishers as army. If he doesn't call it then... I'm not sure what to think about that. I think he should be calling it. I think it's... The chances are super high. <sighs> Castle Age now, coming up. Couple of seconds left. And even then... There we go. Castle H now. ACCM not calling it. Alright, interesting. He's probably gonna call it when he sees that the knight's coming out from Mr. Yo. He doesn't really have anything to fight against this. Um, yeah, I don't really know if there's anything that he can do at this point. He can probably try and cram the skirmishers inside this area. He did build a nice little fortress over here. But still, these houses are very weak. He could just take those down with skirmishers only. Taking a look at the eco numbers now for ACCM, we can see that he has almost 600 food, 463 gold. He has the market already in place, so he can potentially buy his way up to Castle Age. Let's see. Alright, there we go. ACCM going up to Castle Age himself, not giving up. Despite the huge villager difference. Let's see. Forty-six villagers for Mr. Yo. About to get a lot, a lot higher for him as well. Uh, he can potentially try and cram the, the skirmishers inside here. But yeah, he's trying to go now for stables. Of course, in Castle Age, he is going to get access to uh, camels. Camels are going to be very strong. But right now, even light cavalry are proving a very hard unit to, to kill with archers. Feeble archers, even with fletching, not looking good. Now, one manganel here in place, you should be able to get rid of all the archers and all of the skirmishers, and there we go, almost killed the archers. Very good reaction over there for ACCM though, garrisoning the units in the tower. Let's see. Ram now here in place. He's gonna start sending some light cavalry forward. And Mr. Yo doesn't have uh, any four villagers other than this one. He's gonna go for siege workshop. Potentially he can try and go for stables afterwards. But now it's very important for Salas to take advantage of the faster castle time. They go up faster to start going for cavalry and try and do some damage with the knights because once the Berber player is in Castle H himself, those camels. This is gonna shred through uh, the knights. So there we go, Castle Age now for both players. Villager count slightly higher, <laughs> well slightly, 11 higher, 10 higher at this point, alright. Not anymore, 8 higher for Mr. Yo. Archers about to become crossbows. We have knights over here for both players, so not going for camels. I find that very interesting. All right, there we go. So he's gonna switch into camels right now. He wanted to go for some um, high damage units before going for 
camels themselves. Let's see if that's gonna work for him. We can see that at this point, Mr. Yo's uh, knights have bloodlines, have forging, have scale barding armor, while ACCM scouts, uh, or knights rather, they have bloodlines. They don't have forging, they do have scale uh, barding armor, but they are still missing both iron casting, uh, he's missing chain barding armor as well for the plus two. Going for camels, a good choice, he's gonna go for the monastery himself now and the situation is looking very very streaky now. As ACCM gets his to see the knight over here, three villagers going down to knights, that's gonna bring the villager difference to 12 now higher for Mr. Yo. And ACCM did not give up, found that quite surprising, but he is not doing so bad actually here. KD though is still in favor of Mr. Yo, but not that so much, especially not as much as uh, the first two maps. So I would say there is still potential for for a comeback here. Monks are going to be very important for the blue players. He's gonna have to convert a couple of those camels, otherwise he's going to get wrecked. Uh, nice force, they are not going to be able to fight camels. Let's see though, additional TC coming up now for Mr. Yo, and that's going to be the third TC already. While ACCM trying to stick most likely to want to see aggression as he knows he uh, is up later, he's not going to be able to catch up in Eco. He didn't know if Mr. Yo already had extra disease or not. So the safest bet uh, is to try and go full aggression, want to see, and try to do as much damage as possible. But let's see. Let's see, this might potentially be a very good fight for ACCM. So, oh, five monks though! Five monks! Only one monk here for, for ACCM. Is he going to be able to convert the knight? He should be able, there we go, so he converted the knight. But now he's going to get five, five camels converted. And without five camels in place here for ACCM, he should be losing this fight, but let's see. That's still a lot of camels in place for the purple player. And this is actually a very dominating fight for, for ACCM, doing very, very good. Reinforcing the army over here. And that was a lot better than expected that there was a small moonwalking uh, camel just there. And ACCM clearing the whole army from Mr. Yo. Back at home, untouched, there is one uh, siege workshop over here. There is one monastery coming up, that's the second to see from ACCM. Should probably try to go for the third one around here. But still, very very surprising engagement over there. Mr. Yo losing all of his units. Now he has 8 military units, all of them are pikes. Pikes are alright, but the Berber player should be trying to go for a castle at some point in the go. So he's trying to get some uh, stone over there with 3 stone miners. 313 stone count at this point for the purple player. Some ways off still from that castle, but still. How old are these games? These are... Hold on. I think this is from today, if I'm not mistaken. If this is not from today, it's probably two days old. It's very, very recent. They are practicing for Hidden Cup 2. Oh, that's one villager going down, so only two stone miners is not going to be great. ACCM losing three monks to a single like cavalry. Talk about efficient trading. You're welcome, man. Mr. Yo collecting one relic. Let's see. Let's find the right page in the overlay. 
There we go. Ram now and a couple of pikemen should be enough to get rid of that. So ACCM is gonna find himself forced to go back. Now there is a very large push. Pikemen and Magnus seems like a very strong combination we see very often. Working one is here versus the Burmese, uh, versus the Berber player, sorry. Well, let's see. Archers trying to target the monk and not gonna be able to do anything versus three Magnus. Now, fortunately, ACCM does have some units to bring back. But there is a large amount of pikemen here. So pikemen plus monks getting conversions for the camels. I'm not really sure about this. ACCM is gonna call it GG. And that's gonna be the 2 to 1 in favor of Mr. Yo taking the best of 3 in this first series of today's stream on Bubbly Official. And very good games, gotta say. So we're gonna update the scores right now, and that's 2 to 1 for Mr. Yo. Now, we're gonna go into a small, small break. Two minutes, two minutes and a half, probably. So feel free to stand up, stretch a bit, walk away from the PC, go to the bathroom, whatever. And yeah, we're gonna get back with the second series, which is gonna be Back T versus Slicks. So yeah, we're gonna go now uh, to check the achievements. And after that, small break. Let's see. There we go. Military stats, KD. Very nice for Mr. Yo. Not as pronounced as the first two games though. Largest army, 30 versus 25. Largest eco all over the board. Probably more villagers, yeah. 94 villager high. And faster feudal, castle age, and more map explode. So very, very dominant game over here. There we go. Guys, gonna be right back.
time's up indeed. Yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. Just give me a second. Um.